Hi, let's take a look at the project window in New Window Live 2, starting with the toolbar section. We have the setting icon, which open the setting window, which we looked at in a previous video. We have file, edit, project, and help options. We have a record button, which open a floating record panel with metadata information, production artist, engineer, director, recording folder locations, different way to start the recording, arm all tracks, record, easy record, locate and, information about the recording times, and a section for markers. You can add markers before, during, and after the recording. Remove markers with an ID section, position, and a description. Let's close this window for now. We have a locate marker, which you'll be able to navigate once they inserted. We have a locator section, which is if you position the mouse directly on top of the ruler, you have a little pencil here. Now, the locator works in tandem with the transport functions. So if you position the cursor here before the locator or within the locators, and if you engage loop playback, you can transport cycle and start play, it will just play that section over and over. Now you can move the cursor to the left locator, right locator. You can go to the previous marker or zero if there's no marker inserted. We have stop, play, record. Next, we have the ruler, which can be set to seconds, time code, or sample. We set to time code right now. We have a MIDI time code section, and you can, of course, set the input MIDI device directly from here. Finally, we have VST Performance Meter, which if you click on it, you have this little flooding window, which you can position anywhere within the screen here. Now, if we review what we just looked at on the toolbar sections, we looked at the record panel, which can be open and closed by Command plus R or Control plus R on Windows. We looked at the marker sections, which you can navigate uh, by pressing Shift plus N. We looked at the left and right locator positions. We can engage a cycle, loop cycle playback, and define a region within the project. We looked at the transport buttons to go to next previous markers, cycle, stop, play, record, and go back and move the cursor to different marker position. You can use shift plus B. We also looked at the time display, which can be set in second time codes or samples. We looked at the MIDI time code on and off, pressing by pushing the letter T on your keyboard. And finally, we look at the performance display, which is a little floating window indicating the average CPU in this cache load for the project.